MRCEM OSCE course. Preparatory for the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. UK OSCE exam. Website www.mrcemoscecourse.com. Facebook page MRCEM OSCE course. Hello everybody. This is Mohammed Abdelghani Sadiq, co-founder and instructor of MR Kim Oski course. Today, I'm going to speak about cranial nerve examination. Once you get into the examination room, you, you need to introduce yourself, wash your hand, confirm patient identity and age, and take consent for the examination. Inform him that you would like to examine the nerves of his face, and make sure that the patient is comfortable uh, and if he needs painkiller and don't forget to call for chaperone we have 12 cranial nerves you need to memorize them uh, the same as your full name so because there is no time inside uh, the exam within the seven minutes to try to memorize the sequence of the nerves start by examining the first cranial nerve which is uh, olfactory and this is done only by one question ask the patient about uh, how uh, does he smell nowadays if he reported that he decreased smelling or there is loss of smelling then this is called hyposmia or anosmia then proceed to examine the second cranial nerve which is the optic nerve and uh, examination of the optic nerve you will do that quickly by examining the visual acuity and then the visual field and then the pupils uh, pupillary examination is divided into uh, <coughs> direct consensual swinging test and uh, then you have the accommodation and then just state that you would like to do phondoscopic examination and you would like to examine the color vision using Ishihara billets and also you would like to examine the eye by slit lamp uh, with fluorescein dye then you would like uh, now to examine the fourth or six, uh, third fourth and sixth cranial nerves those are the oculomotor trochlear and abducens and all of the, all of the three is examined just by uh, one examination that is by the eye movement examination that is by drawing the edge shape uh, and ask the patient to keep his face still and just follow your finger by his eyes if you would like uh, to know more about eye examination please uh, you uh, you can review our previous episode about eye examination now we will uh, proceed to examine the fifth cranial nerve which is the trigeminal nerve and uh, trigeminal nerve examination uh, first we have the motor part and this is by assess assessing the uh, masseter and temporalis muscles ask the patient to clench his teeth while you are palpating those two muscles then proceed to examine the sensory part of the trigeminal which is the uh, ophthalmic uh, ophthalmic maxillary and mandibular branches of the trigeminal nerve uh, first uh, let the patient feel the cotton wool sensation over his uh, upper chest uh, sternum and then ask him to close his eyes and then make uh, touch lightly the ophthalmic division in the upper forehead uh, and compare to the other side and ask the patient to say yes when he feels uh, the touch and then go to the mandibular uh, branch and maxillary uh, by then you would like to complete the fifth cranial nerve examination which is the trigeminal by the jaw reflex and that by ask the patient to lightly open his mouth and using tendon hammer you would like to tap over your 
uh, index finger which you put over the chin uh, of the patient just behind the lower lip if there is no response or lightly there is a uh, light closure of the mouth this is normal but exaggerated response uh, of the uh, closing of the mouth this is abnormal and just state that you would like to complete examination of the trigeminal nerve by checking the corneal reflex but you don't need to do it the corneal reflex the afferent uh, part is by the trigeminal and efferent part by the facial nerve so if you forget to mention that here you can just mention the corneal reflex with the seven cranial nerve which is the facial now proceed to examine the facial nerve which is the seventh cranial nerve and this is a start by just inspection to look for any uh, deviation of the mouse or loss of nasolabial fault and usually the mouse will deviate to the normal side as we all know then ask the patient to elevate his eyebrows and just watch for the wrinkling of the forehead if lost or no and then ask the patient to close his eyes and uh, tell him that please don't let me open them and then you will try to open them lightly then ask the patient to blow his cheeks and keep the air inside while you will tap over the cheeks uh, trying to push the air outside and then ask the patient to show you to show you his teeth and uh, then ask the patient if he feels any change uh, in test in the anterior uh, two-thirds of the tongue and also ask him if he experienced any uh, increase in uh, sounds over the epsilateral ear which uh, runs or goes with the stabidus muscle in the lower motor neuron uh, facial palsy now we completed the uh, facial nerve we will proceed to the eighth cranial nerve which is the vestibulocochlear nerve usually during the mr chem exam the examiner will tell you that done already and proceed to the next one but we will mention him here uh, just to know and to be prepared if uh, they ask you to do it uh, vestibulocochlear nerve you will uh, simply tell the patient that you will come uh, from behind him in one side and you will close one ear by your hand while whispering uh, to his other ear by a number uh, this is from a short distance and ask him to repeat that number for you and then uh, just go a little bit far away while closing the other ear and whisper another number and ask him to repeat that number and then do that for the other ear itself and then mention that you would like to do the Weber and Rene tests then go and start to examine the 9th and 10th cranial nerves those are the glossopharyngeal and vagal nerves or vagus nerves ask the patient if he has any problem with coughing uh, or swallowing nowadays and then ask him to open his mouth and use, using torch have a look to the soft palate and to the uvula and while the patient is saying ah look to the uvula if it's central or deviated if there is uh, paralysis to the uh, uh, mentioned nerves then the uvula will be de deviated to the normal side then just uh, show intention uh, <coughs> to uh, make examination for the gag reflex gag reflex 
and then now proceed to examine the 11th cranial nerve which is the spinal accessory and this is will be done by testing the sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscles so regarding sternocleidomastoid ask the patient to uh, turn the turn his, his head to the right side first while uh, resistance you will make resistance by your hand to his uh, cheek and this is a test for the left sternocleidomastoid then ask him to turn his head to the left side while uh, also resistance and this is test for the right sternocleidomastoid then inform the patient that you would like to uh, come from his back and just uh, touch his shoulders by the way don't go behind the patient without informing informing him ever never so uh, and from the back of the patient uh, ask him to shrug his shoulders while you keep resistance and watch for any weakness of trapezius now we completed the uh, spinal accessory examination and we will proceed to the last uh, 12 cranial nerve which is the hypoglossal nerve so we will ask the patient to open his mouth and have a look uh, to the tongue for any uh, fasciculation wasting or abnormal position usually uh, the tongue will be deviated to the affected side and this is in comparison to the facial and uh, ninth and tenth clearing nerves where deviation will be to the normal here in the uh, hypoglossal nerve the deviation will be to the diseased side then ask the patient to protrude his tongue outside the mouth and watch for any uh, fasciculation and also for any deviation and then check the bore of the tongue by asking the patient to push against the inside aspect of the cheek while you make resistance from the outside in either side by now thank the patient inform him that you will complete the examination of the nerves of uh, his head and to complete your examination state that you would like to examine the upper and lower central nervous system neurological examination as well and then you might discuss the findings and management plan with the patient or the examiner might ask you a few questions regarding the um, presentation of the patient and the differential diagnosis of the different problems that might arise with the facial with the um, uh, cranial nerves for example they might ask you about differential diagnosis of lower motor neuron region facial nerve palsies. Uh, also they may, might ask you about the difference between the bulbar and pseudo bulbar palsy and sometimes they might ask you about the condition that might arise due to uh, trigeminal nerve problems so have um, a reasonable knowledge about the, um, uh, those uh, diseases that might arise uh, with the cranial nerves. Thank you very much. We completed uh, the, this session. See you next time.